Jonathan. Scott, Scott, I guess um, just overall feelings um, and, and thoughts on that game. Yeah, I thought um, congratulations to um, Simon and the group over there. I just they just manhandled us for most of the game and beat us in the effort and energy areas, and um, you know got the jump on us obviously in the first quarter. We just never could recover, and um, they played well, and, and uh, you know a lot of our stuff was um, self-inflicted in a lot of ways, but um, uh, they did a nice job against us. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, everything that we discussed in um, the last two days about playing them and uh, trying to keep them off the foul line the best we could. And, and you have to gang rebound against them. And uh, we did both those two things uh, poorly. Absolutely. I mean, you want to uh, you want to build pressure over the course of a 40 minute game. And um, we just weren't able to do, to do that um, over the full 40. You want to reap the rewards in the in the fourth quarter, but um, when you don't have enough pressure on them in the first half, then um, it's tough to get that reward. And um, yeah, like Scott said, and we, we made a bit of a run in the in the third there. Then we had back-to-back -back turnovers, and um, it's just self-inflicted. And when you're trying to gain momentum, you can't you can't give the ball back to them that easily. I guess it's disappointing. I think as Scott said after last week's game, that it was probably the best of the year, and that was probably you know one of the. I yeah, I guess uh, you could say that. Um, yeah, just two totally different ways we want to play. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we showed last week that uh, over the course of 40 minutes, um, we can be very good when, when we play the, keep the game at our pace. Well, I guess um, you know, that really puts you back on the only part, I guess, with the, the players with, with four games to go. But uh, I guess a bit of an opportunity to, set up, to try and get one foot in the door there tonight. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, every game is difficult in some level, in some fashion or form, and it means something to everyone uh, every night you're going out to play, especially at the end of the season like this. And uh, it's exciting again to be in this position um, with only 18 months being in, you know, the in the league. So, um, a credit to our guys, but we we have some opportunities, and it's a, it's a very difficult league, and you you have to show up and play every single night, and. Uh, you know, we could easily get, lose the next four. Or we could easily win the next four. It's just the way the league is, and you'd have to be on point uh, night in and night out to give yourself the best chance. And, you know, uh, Phoenix is a great example of them, I'm sure, not playing well at home and then coming in here and just smacking us. So uh, it is what it is, and you just move on, and we, we, we move on to Cairns. So some of the players take out just how, you know, how they really took the game on, and that's what you'd like to see your players do going forward. Uh, they just got to be themselves for me. Uh, we don't ask anything other than just them to be themselves. So uh, I don't stress over that too much, to be honest with you. Go ahead, Chris. Scott, in some ways, it was a very uncharacteristic performance from your, your team. I mean, the, the fans were able to do to you what you, you like to do to a lot of teams by winning the possession game, winning the, winning the battle on the glass, forcing the team into, into turnovers. Why, why do you think they were so effective against you tonight? Well, I think they're just more desperate, um, and we were not. And, um, you know, we haven't played very well in this building just in general in our four outings here. Uh, unfortunately, with the crowds that we get in here, uh, we just have not played well in this building. Um, and so uh, they, again, were just the aggressor. And, and, you know, at the end of the season like this, when the games are going kind of back and forth and everyone's kind of juggling around the standings, uh, one team's going to inflict their will on another team, um, either style of play or how they want to play, and the other team's going to be able to either react to that or, or succumb to it, and uh, we succumb to it. It is a bit of a strange thing, isn't it, that you don't seem to play well in Launceston when I'm sure you enjoy going there, I'm sure you enjoy embracing the people of Launceston. For some reason, you just don't seem to play well out, out on the floor. Yeah. Uh, again, you know, it's usually important. This market is extremely important to us. Uh, we start our training camp up in the north uh, at every beginning of every year. And, and being in the market is important to us to build the brand and make sure that we're visible. And it's unfortunate that um, they're not seeing us um, at our best uh, in this venue. Um, but, you know, I think looking back on the season, and I know we have two more home games, but, you know, we have not played well at home just in general all year. And I think that's one of the things that uh, when I look back on the season, um, the inconsistency of being at home uh, not having the kind of record that you need, I think, to really uh, make an impact in this league 
will be something to reflect upon because um, we've done okay on the road for the most part, but we just have not been able to uh, play as well as we need to play when we're in home. Not too much time to think about this either because you'll jump on the plane tomorrow, head up to Cairns, and that's a hell of a team to come up against on Friday night. And I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, it's just another challenge for us to, to go and, uh, and and compete, and uh, that's what the league's about. And uh, there's just one good team after another. And, and like I said, every night you're up against something. And, and um, you know, I've said it multiple times here in the last couple of weeks, we'll be where we'll be. We'll either be in or we'll be out, and that's that's the way it goes. What do you think about Friday night, Clint? It's a building that you know obviously pretty well, but what do you need to do well on Friday night to, to come away with, with that win? Well, to start, as long as, long as we don't, um, I guess, get out-hustled in the first four or five minutes of the game, we've got to put our footprint on the game straight away um, and make sure that at least that first quarter we're playing on our terms. And um, that'll go a long way. And hopefully the, uh, the course of 40 minutes... Um, we will pay its reward towards the end of that, I don't know, five minutes left in the fourth or, or whatever it may be. But um, we have to build pressure in the first quarter um, to reward ourselves later in the game. So as long as we don't start the same way we did tonight, then uh, we'll be OK. I hope you don't mind me, me asking this when you coach the team next to you, but how challenging has, has this patch of, of this season been for you when you haven't been always getting many minutes or any minutes, but at the same time, how have you been able to still make sure you're leading the team strongly and, and not letting that, I guess, affect that side of, the, of your game? Yeah, that's an easy one, mate. Um, you got to get out of your own, own head, and it's not about me. Um, it's about the guys around me. Um, I'd love to be out there. I'd love to be shooting the ball well, contributing, being effect effective, being efficient. Um, it's not always going to go your way. And uh, we got some guys that are playing well. And um, Isaac White was playing extremely well. And Sean McDonald's been a heck of a player for us all year. And, and, and he's getting a lot of minutes. Um, he's been rewarded because he's been really good for us. So um, a lot of my focus is on um, is just trying to compliment those guys, instilling confidence in them to keep doing what they're doing. And, um, as a, as a senior leader on the on this team, I can't let that affect me whatsoever. Um, I gotta I gotta keep investing in these guys, and I'm gonna keep doing that while we're playing this year. Great answer. Thanks very much, guys. All right. Thank you. Beautiful. Thanks.